Today we are traveling to Wickenburg, Arizona to attend the first ever Jeep Jamboree Academy. Wickenburg is located about 65 miles northwest of Phoenix, Arizona. Our trip begins by driving through the beautiful foothills of Yuma, Arizona. So many people who do not live in this area think of it as being a desert that is hot, dry, and all sand. What they are missing is the beauty of the foothills and the mountains that surround the area, providing beautiful backdrops and places to hit the trails and go off-roading. The Jeep Adventure Academy took place at the Flying E Ranch. Paul registered as the driver on this hands-on off-road instruction course for Jeep owners. Although we've been hitting the trails for a couple years, the Academy teaches techniques and we did learn a few things while we were out on the trail. Come ride with us as we hit the trails and tackle a few challenges on the different terrain. After some classroom instruction, we head out onto the trail. The attendees were broken into two groups. We were in the group that consisted of Jeep Wranglers. The majority of us were in Rubicons. The other group was other Jeeps that are trailblazers, such as the Grand Cherokee. This is the first time we see a spotter on the trail. The main purpose at this point was to become familiar with understanding and following a spotter's directions. The reason for the Academy is to learn how to navigate off-road trails and some drivers in our group had never been on a trail before. It was very informative and I hope to someday do one of these as the driver and Paul as the passenger. Many of the Jeep Jamboree events are held on difficult trails and spotting is a necessity to get over the rocks and other obstacles. In this spot, we were amused at how it looks as if the saguaro cactus is mimicking the spotter's directions. of photos shows some vehicles behind us coming through a part of the trail that we had already done. There aren't many opportunities to jump out of the Jeep and take pictures, so I took advantage here.
this spotter decided to take a picture of us for their own albums or online pages. We saw a vibrant yellow-green moss in several areas, but it does not show up as brightly on the video. Our dash cam automatically balances, so it does not portray the angle of the Jeep as it is sitting according to what the dashboard shows, and we are at a two degree high pitch in the front and a 19 degree roll or sideways tilt. shows the process of going up a rocky hill. Now it is our turn. Oh, you can wave. Oh. Looks a little dark, but... I'm gonna flip the... I'm showing red on the battery now. So I'll help you once we get through this. Here are some of the vehicles ahead of us being directed up. Some areas are difficult to see from the front of the Jeep. This happens to us frequently on the trails and it can be a bit scary until you can tell where the road goes.
Even with spotters, mistakes can happen, such as this one where Paul was directed too far to the right, resulting in us having to back up and start over. Here we are coming back into the venue for lunch and more training before heading back out on the trails again. All of the land that we rode on is owned by the Flying E Ranch and there is more to come. The Flying E Ranch had a small western town setting that served as the venue for our classes and lunch. The bathrooms fit the atmosphere of the western ranch with pails for sinks and a horseshoe and bridle that held the toilet paper. We are now heading out onto the trail for our afternoon session. Most of this trail is through a wash, which is a sandier terrain because it is where rivers flow during heavy rains.
group of drivers discussing how to best navigate over these rocks and at the same time the trail drops to a lower level. Here comes Paul. And that's what skin plates are for. Here we learn about a controlled descent. This is where you put the vehicle into four-wheel drive manual and you do not touch the brakes because the engine holds you back as you go down a steep descent. We're now back at the venue. People decided because it was cold and windy, they did not want to stay for the outside wenching demonstration. Everyone received their badge of honor, which is for completing the training, and you take that badge and mount it on the outside of your Jeep. Hope you enjoyed riding with us during the Jeep Jamboree Academy. If you enjoy riding with us on our adventures, please subscribe to Rolling Through North America Travel With Us so you can receive notice each time we publish a new video. 
check back often as we have more videos to come, including San Antonio, Texas, where we visit historic missions, Quebec, Canada, a beautiful blend of city and country, and the Bush Pilot Museum of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada, a must-see for pilots and aeronautic enthusiasts.